Hey, I'm Alec, and I'm gay as Most of the members of the LGBTQIA community that have the opportunity and privilege to come out have coming out stories. A lot of us, but not everybody necessarily. I'm one of those that does have a story, so I'm gonna go ahead and share that. Here we go. Okay, so growing up was a shit show. In my neighborhood and at school, everybody had the thought that I liked boys because I sort of had that higher pitched voice and my behaviors and preferences and things tended to be feminine. And there's nothing wrong with that now. Looking back, I'm not ashamed of that at all. But at the time, I was very uncomfortable with it. I spent years and years denying that I liked boys. I didn't know yet. I was still kind of coming to terms with it in myself, so I wasn't even sure. Like, I was denying it because everybody assumed that being gay was bad, and I didn't want to be bad. I never thought gay was bad. I only thought that other people thought it was bad. So I didn't want to be something that people think is bad. I constantly found myself challenging myself. If I don't run fast enough up the stairs, then I'm gay. I'd constantly be like doing that, like I could not fail or I would be gay. I remember telling myself how impossible it was for me to be gay. Like I would battle myself about it. I'd be like, you can't be gay. You have to die. I am not religious at all, but the one thing I did pray about when I was little is I would pray that I wouldn't be gay. And a lot of the times my birthday wishes, my candles, my shooting stars were all about not being gay. I didn't want to be gay. Everybody thought it was bad in my elementary school. Everybody knew that I was a closeted gay kid and I didn't even know. I really did think I liked girls because sometimes I still think I do. Sometimes I think I'm bisexual. I feel like I'm pan romantic, which means like I'm comfortable with any gender I could be in love with romantically but I'm not in the place to be romantic with anybody, so. But in that sense, I feel that way. But in terms of sexualness, I gear more towards men. Sometimes I do think back of how miserable I was growing up because of my perceived sexuality and my confusion with my sexuality. The bullying varied in degrees. Um, at home in the neighborhood, I was bullied really bad because we had some psychos living next door to us and they thought they owned the entire town because their dad's a landscaper. They offer people free lawn mowing services. They used to throw things at me and throw my bike in the sewer. They put dog poop in my helmet, which was really upsetting at the time, but it's kind of funny now that I look back. I was a couple years younger than them, not like by a ton, but like maybe two or three, four at most, but it was very important for me to have their approval and I wanted to have people to hang out with in the neighborhood. Definitely picked on me for my voice and the way I liked to use the girl characters in the video games. I still do that. They're always better, they're cuter, and they move quicker. I got thrown into things. Somebody actually threw me up against a trampoline and on the back of my head I had some bleeding going on. That was bad. That trampoline injury was the defining moment where my neighborhood went into World War III and I became like the one that kind of was the problem. But I really didn't do anything, I was just gay. At school, the bullying looked a little bit more like people kind of like snickering and looking at me and me knowing what they're talking about. I'd have people on the bus throwing things at me and like sometimes like repeating what I say in a really high-pitched voice or like a stereotypical like m mocking gay tone like I know I talk like that like okay get over it and that was sort of the thing that really made me sad at the time like I was really insecure about it because I didn't even know for myself yet and people were telling me what I was and what they were telling me I was a lot of people thought was bad. I was constantly walking on eggshells and it was really shitty. I couldn't simply wear skinny jeans or accessorize with a 
bracelet or even wear a pink shirt if I wanted to because there was always a risk of somebody asking me if I was gay or making fun of me for being gay or just bringing it up and making me uncomfortable when I don't even know myself what I want or like who I am yet. Like this was something that went on from the time I was in first grade up until freshman year of high school and then I finally decided to come out. So it was four years ago, Ooh, four years, I was in the CVS parking lot with my mother. She had just gone in and I stayed in the car. And then when she got back in, I said, hey mom, like, I think I'm bisexual. And she was totally okay with it. She barely responded. She was like, okay, yeah, that's great. You know, I love you either way. And then I felt really supported after she kind of asked me a couple questions and I answered them willingly. She was really supportive um, and that was great. It was a huge weight off my shoulders. I never came out to my father because we had a very weird relationship and then I did come out to my sister and I didn't want to come out to anyone else. I just, I basically made one Facebook post and one Instagram post and then I didn't want to have to say it at all as like a I was this, now I'm this kind of a thing. I wanted it to be like, if you ask me, I just say it kind of for the future. Like if somebody asked me, I would say I wouldn't buy. But now I don't know if I'm bi. Maybe I'm gay sexually and pan romantic because yeah. So the actual coming out wasn't so bad. It was just the leading up to it that was really bad. The members of my family that I live with and that I still see I feel super supported with. I have a really great group of friends who's all very queer friendly and I am very thankful for that. I sometimes look back at those days where I was really struggling with all the bullying and the self acceptance and the self denial and then the actual realization. It was all very much horrible. So I'm not into it and I'm glad it's over. And I'm kind of glad that this video is over too because it's been a decent amount of minutes and I'm ready to wrap it up. I hope you enjoyed watching this video. I appreciate you listening to my coming out story. If you'd like, you can leave yours in the comments. If you need somebody to reach out to, you can try reaching out to me in the comments. If I don't get back to you because I'm really busy with schoolwork and stuff right now, I will have some hotlines in the description just in case you need some resources to reach out to if you're queer and questioning and having some problems. I'm gonna go ahead and sign. Thanks for watching, don't forget to subscribe.